uh, welcome to Akamji Shai. So today would be the session for the ecology and we would be starting with the land degradation and climate change. Uh, such type of issues would be taken in today's lecture. So let us begin with the first question. What is bone challenge? It is related to the land degradation uh, to combat the desertification. Okay, and in India, which regions are more sus uh, like uh, they are more prone to desertification? Uh, Aravli Hills range means the Rajasthan to Delhi region. Exactly. And what is done to combat the issue of soil alkanity? What? What can be done to solve the issue of soil alkanity? Like uh, if the soil is alkaline in nature, so what can be done to combat this issue? Gypsum can be added if a soil is basic in nature. Here comes one question. What are the possible consequences of heavy sand mining in river beds? So first option is decreased salinity in the river. Second option is pollution of groundwater. Third is lowering of water table. So these are the three consequences given it as the options and you have to identify which of the following are the consequences of sand mining. Not getting the question, ma'am. Okay, uh, are you saying something? So, answer would be all for this because of the heavy sand mining, there is a decreased uh, salinity in the river or increased salinity in the river. It would be increased. Okay, then after that, pollution of groundwater would be increased again and water table ka jo, uh, level hai, that would be decreased again. So the answer would be 2 and 3. And the next question is... What is sheet erosion? Uh, so sheet erosion is actually called uh, caused in the reasons where there is like heavy rainfall and like due to the rainwater, uh, it washes off the uh, surface level. Okay, so because of that, there is an issue of the sheet erosion. SDG fourteen is related to. Paris. Achha, sorry, sorry. As DG 14, Sustainable Development Goal 14 is related to. It is related to actually life below the oceans and we have to maintain the ocean and uh, just to ensure that there is a sustainable aquatic ecosystem. So we have to follow the SDG 14. Then there is one more SDG 15. So that is related to life on land like degradation is there so to reverse that land degradation and to combat desertification uh, what is mulching uh, to prevent the evaporation of the soil we covered the soil with uh, leaves or some matter so that the evaporation will not take place means the yeah to save the the water in the soil exactly that is correct 
वट आर जियो टेक्सटाइल्स एनी वन ऑफ यू हैव गेट अबाउट जियो टेक्सटाइल ओके ओके एनी वन प्लीज ओके सो जियो टेक्सटाइल आर परमिएबल सिंथेटिक नेचुरल फाइबर्स ओके विच आर यूज टू प्रोटेक्ट द सोइल एंड लाइक दे आर यूज अलॉन्ग विद द सोइल टू प्रोटेक्ट इट फ्रॉम द डिग्रेडेशन फ्लाइश कैन बी यूज एज अ पॉटलैंड सीमेंट ट्रू फॉल्स ट्रू uh okay let us discuss something about uncct now so i would be speaking the statement just identify that it is correct or not okay uh, so first statement is it was originated in johannesburg summit that held in 2002 true false can you repeat Uh, the United Nation Convention to Combat Desertification was emerged in 2002 summit, which is called as Johan Summit, Johannesburg Summit. False. Who oh, said 1992? Me tha na? Rio summit. Yes, yes, exactly. Okay, and it is the only legally binding international agreement that link in environment and development of the sustainable land development. लीगली uh, बाइंडिंग है और वो डेजर्टिफिकेशन के लिए ओनली है ना यस yes, exactly. ठीक है ओके वन मोर क्वेश्चन इंडिया रेटिफाइड इट और नॉट क्या इंडिया ने इसे रेटिफाई किया इंडिया रेटिफाइड इट अ लॉन्ग बैक इवन इन 1996 इट वाज रेटिफाइड What is blue carbon? Uh, which is present in the uh, oil, wo, oceans. The blue means wo sink carbon sink hai, blue carbon. Okay, yes. Uh, the carbon which is absorbed by the coastal and like water areas. Okay. Bone challenge we have discussed already. Yes. Okay. Uh, just tell me one thing. Greenhouse gases, जो होती है, ठीक है. Can anyone tell me two three names of GHG gases? Uh, carbon dioxide, uh, methane, nitrogen oxide, nitrous oxide, water vapor. as the f6 chlorofluorocarbon hfc gas and which has the highest potential global warming potential kiska highest hota hai methane oh sorry nitrous oxide sulfur hexa sabse zyada hota hai okay so next question is what is cryosphere Cryosphere is area covered with uh, ice, like uh, Antarctica, something like that. Exactly. And what it is use? It's used uh, to reflect, uh, you know, heat uh, from the process, the process of al albedo. And also, it it acts as a source of like uh, oil. It acts as a source of okay. Then after that, methane methane hydrates hydrates are found there.
क्वेश्चन इज सो कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग गैसेस कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड मिथेन ओजोन सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड सो विच ऑफ द अब गैसेज आर रिलीज इन टू द एटमोस्फेयर ड्यू टू द बर्निंग ऑफ बायोमास वैसिजू ये पीवाई क्यू है मैम ट्वेंटी हाँ वो इसी में मुझे शायद कंफ्यूजन था वो इसमें ओजोन भी दे रखा था ना लेकिन मृणाल वाले में इसमें दो आंसर दे रखे हैं तो पता ही नहीं चला क्या आंसर है द एक्चुअल आंसर इज वन टू थ्री फोर ओल गैसेज आर रिलीज ड्यू टू द बर्निंग ऑफ बायोमास एज पर दूपीएससी सो जस्ट फॉलो द यूपीएससी कोचिंग कैन गिव एनी आंसर बट यू नीड नॉट टू फॉलो द बाय हार्ट just see and like move ahead with the upsc key okay okay ma'am just identify this statement methane's lifetime in the atmosphere is much larger than the co2 true false true false, false. Jo- एटमोस्फेयर में लाइफ टाइम होता है वो सीओ टू से कम होता है अच्छा सॉरी सॉरी मैं उल्टा समझ गया स्टेटमेंट या या ओके सो दिस इज अल्स स्टेटमेंट ओके वट इज ब्लैक कार्बन अनबर्न जो वो अनबर्न रह जाता है वो रिलीज हो जाता है एटमोस्फेयर में विच कॉज इज द ग्लोबल वार्मिंग So, 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 On the contrary, parts snow have high albedo because it's white and reflects sunlight, sun heat. Right. Who releases India Energy Outlook? This is a report. India Energy Outlook. Which one? World Economic Forum. No. UNEP. Who? World. Ye. Isko. Theory. United Nations Economic Program. Dragon. Okay, there is one more report that is World Energy Outlook. So there is one India Energy Outlook. One is World Energy Outlook. Both of them released by which body? Like there are different bodies for each. Which body releases it? Okay, so International Energy Agency (IEA) releases the World Energy Outlook, and the same body releases the India Energy Outlook. ठीक है तो इंडिया एनर्जी आउटलुक वर्ल्ड एनर्जी आउटलुक दोनों आई ई ए का है ठीक है जस्ट रिमेम्बर एंड ऑल्सो एनर्जी आउटलुक जहां पे भी होता है ना जस्ट लाइक तो आई ई ए इज द लाइक परफेक्ट आंसर फॉर दैट इन वन और लाइक एक का दी एक्सेप्शनल केस में दैट कैन नॉट बी आई ई ए बट ऑलमोस्ट जहां पे एनर्जी आता है वहां पे ज्यादातर या तो डब्ल्यू एफ होता है और या फिर आई ई ए होता है मतलब अगर चार ऑप्शन में से अगर ये आपको दिख जाए ना तो यू कैन जस्ट लाइक गो विथ दिस वन इट विल नॉट लाइक डिस एंड एमिशन गैप रिपोर्ट इज रिलीज बाय यूएनईपी दिस इज करेक्ट यूएनईपी रिलीज इज द एमिशन गैप रिपोर्ट ओके सो दे इज वन क्वेश्चन इंटर गवर्नमेंटल पैनल On 
climate change that is ipcc it was established by wwf and undp true false established by UNDP and WWF World Wide Fund and United Nations Development Program true or false false world wide fund false it's something else. so the answer would be false yes uh, why so because it, it is established by UNDP and WM Okay, so just remember it. And one more statement is there that this body doesn't carry out its own research, is it? Actually, IPCC depends upon the bodies which are already releasing the reports. So they don't do any original research. They just analyze the already existing sources, all those research papers. Okay. What is heat wave? So when temperature is so when temperature is more than forty five in uh, more than forty in uh, plain areas and uh, more than like thirty in uh, mount mountainous areas something like that I'm not sure about it. Yeah, yeah, this is the heat budget, and uh, in India, it has actually crossed two degrees Celsius. Means the global temperature is. 1.3 degree celsius and 2 degree celsius is the india's temperature and because of it we can observe many instances of the heat waves in india so just to arrange these things as per their highest albedo rate okay so the first is grasses second is desert third is snow Grasses, deserts, snow. Which of them will have highest albedo? Grasses. के बाद क्या था मैं मेरा इंटरनेट प्रॉब्लम. Snow, desert, grasses. These are three options. So just arrange them as per their decreasing albedo order. Snow or फिर desert, फिर grasses. Anyone else want to try it? Then snow and desert and grasses. Okay, so both of you are correct. Snow, then the thick cloud would be there. Then old snow would be there. Desert, then soil, then thin cloud, grasses, soil, crops. Okay, this would be the entire order of the albedo. Even some days uh, before, uh, there is a heavy snow in. Sahara Desert as well, so that was I was thinking. Yes, yes, yes. In which of the uh, climatic zone you can see that there is a rainfall which is occurring on regular basis, preferably in evening. वो कौन सा biome होता है? जिसमें रेनफॉल बहुत ज्यादा प्रेसिपिटेशन है वो बहुत कॉमन होता है मतलब वहां पे इक्वेटोरियल करेक्ट एंड कौन सा एक बायोम है जो ट्रीलेस होता है दैट इज टोटली ट्रीलेस एक ऐसा बायोम जो कि टोटली ट्रीलेस है टुंड्रा करेक्ट Succulent trees are found in which bio? Succulent trees. Sorry, can you repeat it again? Succulent, S U W C U L E N T. Succulent. 
also called as zeophytes zeophytes these are these are in desert yes so they are found in desert why so because they have to like they have to reduce the transpiration rate and so they are found in the arid zones for example cacti neem neem is the good example for the same what can be the reasons of the increase in sea level like identify two three reasons which can increase the sea level tremendously so global warming continuously rising temperature and changing pattern of climate of different regions like melting of snow and glaciers okay and uh, one more is there like tectonic changes which are taking place what is st Pe petersburg declaration then is it related to tigers saving tigers Yeah, you are there. almost there. Like to save tigers in thirteen countries. Yeah, thirteen range, thirteen tiger range countries, and to double their population by twenty twenty two. So that was held in Russia. What is iron fertilization, also called as carbon fertilization? Sorry. what is carbon fertilization which is also called as iron fertilization okay so these two terms are your homework just try to like learn the concept what it is so i'll be asking tomorrow okay actually upsc has already asked this question uh, in 2018 so you should be well versed with this concept in case you don't get it so i'll be explaining it tomorrow what is ocean deoxygenation uh you can uh, like you can just get the definition by the term like can you please just uh, comprehend the term ocean deoxygenation uh, reduction of oxygen levels in the ocean yes so the ocean de deoxygenation is a expansion of oxygen minimum zones okay that is also called, called like uh, dead zones are there no dead zone hote hai to wahan pe oxygen ka jo amount hota hai wo kam ho jata hai uh india's coal has high ash content or low ash content high ash content Yes, and what about moisture content? Moisture भी ज़्यादा है इसमें. And because of that, there is a less fuel efficiency. Carbon sinks and sinks have discussed already. And now tell me, what are the sources of carbon sequestration? Like, where can you store the carbon? Then, like, one can mention. Then can, then can you? explain last point like why it is high moisture low moisture something like that okay asi jo coal hai india wala usme ek to kya content jo ash ka hai theek hai wo bahut zyada hai and jo moisture hai moisture actually mein kya hai kyunki jo ek coal hota hai coal ke andar bahut zyada gases milti hai to un gases ki wajah se kya hai there are many gases which are liquid like uh, liquid in nature ओके तो लिक्विडिफिकेशन की वजह से वो जो गैसेस होती है उनमें ह्यूमिडिटी 
कंटेंट जो होता है मॉइस्चर कंटेंट होता है वो बहुत ज्यादा होता है और वो ज्यादा होने की वजह से वेन यू विल बर्न इट ना तो उससे क्या है वो मतलब बहुत ज्यादा गिला होता है वेट होता है तो गिला होने की वजह से वो कोल जल्दी जलता नहीं है एंड अगर वो जलता है ना तो कोल ज्यादा जलेगा बट जो उससे एनर्जी हीट जनरेट होनी चाहिए वो कम होगी तो मैम ये कोल कोल के ये ओनली रीजन है क्या कि मतलब ये डोमिनेटिंग रीजन है कैन यू प्लीज स्पीक अगेन प्लीज रिपीट योर क्वेश्चन अगेन मैम ये कोल क्या ओनली रीजन है या फिर ये सिर्फ डोमिनेटिंग रीजन है यू नो मॉइस्चर कम ज्यादा There are many reasons for the same क्योंकि जो इंडिया वाला कोल है उसमें कार्बन कम होता है एश ज्यादा होती है एंड उसमें मॉइस्चर कंटेंट ज्यादा होता है तो ये सभी फीचर्स जब आपस में लाइक वी सम इतना तो लास्ट में हमें ये पता लगता है कि जो इंडिया का कोल है वो ज्यादा एफिशियंट नहीं है बिकॉज उसमें ये सब होता है उसमें मॉइस्चर बहुत ज्यादा है एंड मॉइस्चर होने का लाइक like, कारण क्या है कि उसमें बहुत ज्यादा जो गैसेज हैं उसका कंसेंट्रेशन हाई होता है तो हाई होने की वजह से वो गैसेज वजह से वो बर्न नहीं हो पाता बर्न नहीं होगा तो ऑब्वियसली एफिशिएंसी कम होगी ना आप सोचो एक इंडस्ट्री है एक इंडस्ट्री को अगर दिन में फाइव टन कोल जलाना पड़े एंड वहीं पे अगर यूएस यूके में उस इंडस्ट्री को उतना ही काम करने के लिए तीन टन जलाना पड़ेगा उसको जो उसका कोल होगा तो नाउ यू कैन डिफ्रेंशिएट बिफिन बोर्ड कि कौन सी इंडस्ट्री हाई एफिशियंट है एंड कौन सी लेस एफिशियंट है कोल में okay uh, so there is a question uh, in the context of mitigating the impending global warming due to anthropogenic emissions of co2 which of the following can act as a potential site for carbon sequestration theek okay? hai so options hai first one is abandoned and uneconomic coal seams second one is depleted oil and gas reservoirs and third is abandoned saline formations All are true. Yes, along with these things, also uh, जो शोर लाइन होती है या कोस्ट लाइन होती है कॉन्टिनेंटल शेल्फ की जो नीचे वाला रीजन होता है दोज ओल्ड लोकेशन आर परफेक्ट एंड पोटेंशियल साइड फॉर द कार्बन सिक्विस्ट्रेशन यस और भी इसके ओशन और फॉरेस्ट नेचुरल वो है कार्बन से कार्बन एब्सॉर्बर से एग्जेक्टली देर आर टू साइड नेशनल पार्क राजस्थान ओके एंड विच इज द ओनली वेटलैंड साइट इन इंडिया वेर यू कैन फाइंड द रॉयल बेंगोल टाइगर सुंदरबंस मैम सुंदरबंस ओके सो देर इज वन मोर टॉपिक कमिंग इज ग्रीन ग्रेटिंग फॉर इंटीग्रेटेड हैबिटेट असेसमेंट G R I H A. What is it? Okay, actually, ये जो concept है ये energy conservation buildings जो होती हैं, ठीक है, जो कि energy को conserve करने में they help us, and also they try to like bring down the climate change which is tremendously like it is just hurting the nations interest and also like it is a international and global cause but still we people are like failing continuously to tackle it so usme griha ek concept hota hai jo ki jo buildings hoti hai buildings ke liye like certain benchmarks ko fix karta hai 
बट एनी हाउ वो जो बेंच मार्क है दे आर स्टिल नॉट डिसाइडेड एंड लाइक दे आर नॉट फॉलोड एट पा वट इज ग्रीन इकोनॉमी ओके एक्चुअली द इकोनॉमी विच इज टोटली बेस्ड अपॉन द रिन्यूएबल सोर्सेज ओके इनके जो भी रिसोर्सेज होंगे दे वुड बी ग्रीन इन नेचर उनकी जो एनर्जी कंजर्वेशन होगी दैट वुड बी हाई एंड एफिशियंट इन टू जस्ट रिड्यूस डाउन द एनर्जी बिल्स ओके विच दे आर जनरेटिंग बाय कंज्यूमिंग मोर एंड मोर कार्बन एंड क्रिएटिंग मोर एंड मोर कार्बन एमिशन ओके Now let us just fastly go through some of the uh, factual concepts like what is Stockholm Declaration. What is Stockholm Declaration? If anyone can identify, what is it? There are four there are options. options. There are four options for the same. First option is Stockholm Declaration is related to migratory species. Second option, it is related to hazardous waste. Third one, persistent organic pollutants. and fourth one is to addressing the environmental issues and natural resource management uh pops uh usme 12 pops uh, mentioned hai aur unko wo bhi kehte hai dirty dozens uh actually there is a game in this question see I environment I se uh, environment se related hai 1972 stockholm convention exactly okay i didn't ask stockholm convention whether i asked stockholm declaration so declaration actually me kya hai pehla declaration tha environment ke point of view se usse pehle kabhi bhi environment ka as such koi dekha nahi gaya tha ki we have to conserve it ya kuch bhi like sab kuch chal raha tha but kisi ne dhyan nahi diya ki hame kaise apne biosphere like jahan pe hum habitat hai hum logo ka hame use kaise conserve karna so for the first time जब यूनाइटेड नेशंस कॉन्फ्रेंस हुआ था ह्यूमन एनवायरमेंट में 1972 में सो दैट टाइम फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इस चीज का कॉग्निजेंस किया गया था एंड देन देर ऑन उसके बाद में काफी लोज एंड लाइक बहुत ज्यादा मैनेजमेंट एंड प्लानिंग एंड डेवलपमेंट पे फोकस किया गया सो दैट वॉज फर्स्ट ओके उसके बाद यूएनईपी यूएनईपी जो है यूएनईपी का हेडक्वार्टर है वे इज अडक्वार्टर ऑफ यू एन What is global environment facility? It's a type of point which is uh, uh, which is uh, used to give developing countries for uh, for this to not to increase uh, in just uh, pre-industrial level temperature one point five degree Celsius in Paris, uh, which is the agent of Paris climate, but G, uh, this gef is way before paris climate okay and when it was established in 1992 1992 uh, rio world summit maybe yes so GEF का जो हेडक्वार्टर है दैट इज इन वे इज अडक्वार्टर ऑफ जीईएफिंगटन आई कुडेंट हियर यू कैन यू प्लीज रिपीट मैम इट इज इन वॉशिंगटन डीसी यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ओके एंड व्हाट इज द वर्क ऑफ दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन मैम जीईएफ Yes, GEF. Yes, GEF. Ma'am, it provides some, you know, uh, financial uh, help to the developing countries regarding uh, 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 how to, you know, sustain um, uh, regarding the environmental procedures or environmental problems uh, to the local communities uh, uh, like that. It is an financial uh, mechanism instrument. Okay, so which body serve as the financial mechanism for the Minamata Convention? फाइनेंशियल सिस्टम ओके एंड इन दैट देर अदर बॉडीज एज वेल सीबीटी 
UNFCC, UNCCD, Stockholm Convention and last one is Minamata Convention. दो मॉड्यूल प्रोटोकॉल भी है इसमें बट एक्चुअली वो इसे सिर्फ सपोर्ट प्रोवाइड करता है दैट इज नॉट लिंक्ड विद इट एक्चुअली एंड व्हाट इज जीसीएफ ग्लोबल क्लाइमेट फैसिलिटी एनीवन व्हाट इज जीसीएफ ग्रीन फंड सुना था ये तो नहीं पता ग्लोबल क्लाइमेट फैसिलिटी ओके सी जो जीसीएफ है ठीक है दैट इज लिंक्ड विद यूएनएफसीसीसी ओके सो यूएनएफसीसीसी का जो सबमिट हुआ था कॉपन हैगन अकॉर्ड उसमें इसकी बात हुई थी द लेटर ऑन कांकुन सबमिट में इसको फॉर्मली रिकॉग्नाइज कर लिया था सो जो जीसीएफ है इफ आई आस्क कि वो किसका मैकेनिज्म है सो दैट इज अंडर यूएनएफ ट्रिपल सी ओके यूएनएफसीसीसी को रेगुलेशन में जो है ये जीसीएफ वहां पे वर्क करता है ठीक है ग्लोबल क्लाइमेट वो ग्रीन क्लाइमेट फंड नहीं है मैम ग्रीन क्लाइमेट फंड सॉरी यस यस ग्रीन क्लाइमेट फंड हां यस ओके एजेंडा 21 में जो 21 है व्हाट इट शोस एक्चुअली वो सेंचुरी 21 and it is binding or not agenda 21 is binding or not no okay correct there are two statements identify their nature okay are they correct or not so first statement as dg for the first time was proposed in 1972 second statement, second statement and goals have to be achieved by 2050 both are false wo 1992 mein uh, accept hue the aur uh, 2030 tak ka goal hai okay perfect what is brundtland commission Grant Land Commission. So that, so that is, is sustainable development. Uh, sustainable development. इसने आवन आवर कॉमन फ्यूचर नाम से रिपोर्ट इश्यू की थी ना? Yes. Okay, so just tell me the gases under the Kyoto Protocol mechanism. Can you repeat, ma'am? Name the gases under Kyoto Protocol. Gases. Yes. Yes. Ah, uh, ma'am, see what to me. Yeah, certain greenhouse gases, no, which are regulated by Kyoto Protocol. Yes, F six and hydrofluorocarbons. Ma'am, I think around six was there, but uh, I'm unable to recall other two. Okay, so there are six gases in total. First one is CO two, second is methane, third is nitrous oxide, fourth is sulfur hexafluoride, fifth is hydrofluorocarbon HCFs HCF, and last one is perfluorocarbon PFCs. Okay, so there are six gases. Just remember. What is common but differentiated responsibility mechanism? Ma'am, it is uh, uh, actually <clears throat> there are certain uh, countries there who are not historical uh, reasons for uh, global warming and also uh, you know uh, those emissions. So, what developed uh, developing nations have been you know uh, vocal about is that. this uh, common but differentiated uh, responsibility because they are now 
in the track of uh, improving their economy so certainly there are uh, uh, emissions for their industrial development and also in the post pandemic era now uh, the you know the importance of being like you know what we have seen uh, you know after pre pand uh, post pandemic uh, the development or also you know the uh, resources or raw materials need is increased so before that also the countries are uh, like they said Uh, if they are committed to you know greenhouse uh, you know paris agreement or so and so uh, you know uh, conventions global conventions uh, their economy would not be that level where it uh, cannot afford uh, its people uh, you know or to make sure their uh, livelihood is proper so there comes this uh, uh, you know this term common but differentiated responsibilities it comes under which protocol ma'am uh, it came after you know uh, this uh, uh, before that only it was it was in the news but after paris agreement uh, it was more because uh, there are certain conventions where we need to be um, uh, you know uh, we should be obliged to That is correct, but I am specifically asking कि कौन से प्रोटोकॉल में इसको इस्टेब्लिश किया गया था लेटर ऑन इट वॉज यूज इट वॉज यू नो क्योटो प्रोटोकॉल आई थिंक मैम एग्जैक्टली सो क्योटो ये जो है इसको अंडरलाइन किया गया था सो कॉमन बट डिफ्रेंशिएटेड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी प्लीज म्यूट योर सेल्फ Okay, so common and uh, uh, common but CBDR, common but differentiated responsibility. Me, what happens is that it puts obligation to reduce emission on developed countries on the basis that they are historically responsible for creating those emissions. Okay, their responsibilities are more than those in Annex One. In Annex One, there are developed countries. Okay, and also like the countries which are in transition phase means like uh, they are. in and around the developed countries wala jo tag hota hai so they are existing there okay what is carbon credit ma'am it is also a, a type of uh, instrument uh, where developing nations buy the carbon uh, credit from you know countries like uh, bhutan or uh, the countries where the carbon sink is more so where the it, uh, you know in the layman term where the emissions are very less compared to you know uh, taking of those so those countries uh, you know who contributes uh, you know more to the pollution or global warming they buy those uh, uh, from the you know countries who sell those things carbon, um, carbon yeah it is a, like type of agreement for uh, transferring of carbon like वो वन टन कार्बन कौन एमिट कर रहा है उसके लिमिट है तो उसके हिसाब से लाइक द कंट्रीज ट्रेड इन टर्म्स ऑफ कार्बन क्रेडिट्स okay so we are almost done with today's agenda now if you people want to ask any questions to each other like shooting the questions so just do it for next 15 minutes after this at 7:20 we will be wrapping up with the session so just start now or if we are done we can conclude it now ek colombo declaration hai jo unep ne kara tha aur aur usme 2030 tak किसी एक चीज को एलिमिनेट करने की बात हुई थी वो क्या था करेक्ट जो सीबीडी है वो लीगली बाइंडिंग है या नहीं सीबीडी इज carboxy methane no what is that Carboxy no no uh, that
it is um, ma'am i think it is legally binding but, right? biological right. diversity oh sorry it is legally binding, legally binding. yes ma'am Rotterdam Convention is also legally binding. This one is also legally binding. Then after that we have sites. That is, I think, also legally binding. Hai. Sites, wala jo, wala jo. Yes, ma'am. Who be legally binding? Hmm. Uh, ah, ek wo ek hai sa kuch uh, ye organization hai wo ah uh, UNEP or इसमें आई ने मिलके बनाया है वो क्या है वो एनजीओ है वो भी एनजीओ है एक और यूएनईपी और आई ने मिलके बनाया उसे वर्ल्ड वाइल्ड लाइफ फंड डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू एफ नहीं आई थिंक ये तो नहीं है ओके actually can you repeat that you mean anything or mechanism that was done together by unep and ha ha yes i think it is global eba fund something like that right is that true wo ek organization hai you ngo type एनजीओ है मतलब वो एक आईयूसीएन हां आईयूसीएन प्लस यूएनईपी दे बोथ लॉन्च्ड समथिंग इन आई थिंक रिसेंटली बट दैट इज नॉट एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बट इट इज समथिंग यू नो ए स्ट्रेटजी ओके और प्लीज नेम इट क्या है वो इंटरनेशनल यूनियन फॉर नो 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 आई एम आई एम व्हिच इज द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एक सेकंड में देख के बताता हूं मैं मेरे को उसका नाम याद नहीं आ रहा था इसलिए मैंने डायरेक्टली नहीं पूछा मुझे बस वो याद था आई थिंक इट वाज शायद गलत पूछ लिया है ठीक है क्योंकि वो एक है यूएनईपी वाला जो है ना वो वो भी है क्योंकि उसमें डब्ल्यू एमओ प्लस यू एन ई पी है तो ये दोनों है उसमें शायद आई यू सी एन एंड यू एन यू एन कहीं पे एक साथ एग्जिस्ट करते हैं मतलब एज सच कोई बड़ा सा इंटरनेशनल एनजीओ हो तो Please check it, Kunal sir. Yes. Mean, sir. mean, what? If anyone can ask. So, ma'am, which tiger, which tiger reserve having the largest population of tiger, according to latest census, two thousand eighteen. इंडिया maybe in 20s 1920s let's see first census anyone was uh, during uh, so i i think uh, like tipu sultan period but i don't remember the exact uh, you know year 2006 as per google it's 2000 it's 2006 by ntca or ntca national tiger conservation authority jo कंडक्ट करता है सेंसस हर चार साल में 
और एन टी डेवलप किया गया है अमेंडमेंट एक्ट करके वो अमेंडमेंट किया गया था 1972 वर्ल्ड uh, जो 1972 का जो एक्ट है ना हमारा वर्ल्ड वर्ल्ड वाइल्ड लाइफ प्रोटेक्शन वाला उसमें अमेंडमेंट करके अथॉरिटी बनाई थी उसके बाद से हर चार साल वो सेंसस करना कंडक्ट कर चालू कर दिया लाइक बिफोर 1972 आई डू फील देयर वर सेंसस लाइक दीस ब्रिटिशर्स यूज्ड टू डू दैट आई डोंट नो व्हाई इट्स इट शोस 2000 2006 दे यूज्ड टू डू सेंसस राइट ब्रिटिशर्स बैक देन हाउएवर नॉट ऑफिशियली प्रोबेब्ली and it's not in records because after hello koi bol raha am i audible yes you are okay nothing i was mentioning that britishers used to do the census however मैं तो maybe that that one was that sense is not this yeah joker and the answer but ma'am वैसे जो ज्यादातर जो tigers हैं जैसे कर्नाटक हो गया mp हो गया और राजस्थान हो गया और बंगाल टाइगर या फिर उत्तराखंड ये जो एरिया थे ना ये तो ज्यादातर मुझे ऐसा लगता है प्रिंसली स्टेट्स के अंडर में थे तो वहां जाके वो सेंसस सेंसस कराएंगे थोड़ा सा थोड़ा सा इलॉजिकल सा लग रहा maybe yeah there there was some report that's so popular on western ghats yeah actually ma'am said it is the kasturi rangan committee and the gadgil report ha gadgil gadgil we say gadgil or gadgil how do we pronounce it it's proper noun so it's of course your wish okay okay maybe good girl maybe good girl <laughs> okay okay ha wo question tha bata do bata do ha wo question tha ki jo sorry mera mistake tha iucn plus wwf that is you and you please speak again iucn plus wwf ka ek joint initiative hai that is traffic okay ha yes correct ma'am okay, okay okay that's so clear in fact they work in india i think in environment all these organization must be functional in india because we are very di- very rich in biodiversity born convention kis cheez se related hai it is species correct hmm. Uh, regarding great indian busted uh, what is the iucn status of uh, great indian busted critically yeah. endangered yeah and can you mention uh, of course it is not relevant maybe uh, but uh, what uh, for which
it's state to it is being the you know state bird uh, i think it is one of the bird and uh, it belongs to rajasthan desert national park is there which extends in two districts of rajasthan that is jaisal and badmer so wahan pe hai ye and wahan pe great indian bustard bahut zyada matlab like paya jata hai ye previous year question bhi hai टेलीविजन Yes, and the logo was a Great Indian Bustard. Yeah, yeah. Of that yeah. conference. Can you? What was like? Do you remember? क्या क्या हुआ था उसमें? Uh, like they listed five species. Then. जो critically endangered species थी ना इंडिया की उनको बचाने के लिए प्रयत्न किया गया था. अब क्या प्रयत्न किया गया तो उस पे specifically नहीं याद मुझे. हाँ, but. mainly five species were uh, like they had listed and they had stressed over those five species five six species which included great indian bustard and uh, some others and vulture the usme shayad ha and they also had stated the cause of uh, ki wo kyun endangered ho rahe hain because Uh, of these uh, like uh, how do i how do i call it the wires because of that they were like their population was declining that yeah fly yeah. converters yeah. were applied yeah. actually so usi pe issue hua tha they came up with, they came up with some solution for that they are trying to uh, you know underground wire system or underground connectivity mm mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Also, there was a lake which turned pink uh, in uh, Maharashtra. Lona. That is Lona, Lona Lake. lake. Mm-hmm. And why? What was the reason? It's it because was, algal bloom. Algae. Algae. Algal no, bloom. No, not algal bloom. There was some specific. Um. Yeah, because of some algae, it had turned. That. Ha, that. Oh, algal bloom. Eh, na, wo color change kar dete, na. सम स्पेसिफिक कुछ नाम था उसका उस एलगी का जिससे कलर पिंक हो जाता है हेलो आकिया व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर माइक्रो बिकॉज़ ऑफ व्हिच लाइक द या द दैट पर्टिकुलर या या हेलो आकिया सो बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर रीजन द लेक टर्न पिंक एंड इन व्हिच डिस्ट्रिक्ट इट इज लोनार लेक बुलधाना डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र ओके इट मस्ट बी पार्ट ऑफ वेस्टर्न घाट्स सो आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन व्हाई चंद्रभागा बीच ऑफ ओडिशा इज फेमस दैट रिसेंटली रिसीव्ड द गोल्डन बीच टैग blue blue flag certification tag so yes it's first of india and as well asia yes it is the first can you read the name it's chandrabhaga beach odisha Okay, in what district? On, is? it's on Konark coast. Okay, okay. It's also related. Konark is a temple as well. Yes. Okay, uh, so I think we shall conclude the session, and like we have completed the four sessions of the environment, and tomorrow would be the session five. Um, 
remaining part of the shankras and pmfis would be covered and after that we would be starting with the next subject so let me just stop the recording so thanks for watching it and like joining the discussion if you are on youtube please just but for